hi guys um and i have a lot of explanations to do i've been gone for too long but i've been well i'm just a bit i'm just in my world and it's ramadan time so i'm just taking chill but today i decided to film a tutorial because i was a bit bored and i was missing youtube so this is a look i'm going to be creating today it's a really um how i like this like really sexy eyes you say and the lips are really bold and it's like red brown i mix two different lipsticks and um for i had like i have a little bit of um bronzing going on on the cheeks and highlight and just like a fresh i, I left the skin really fresh and clean and the focus on the lips and the eyes and just maybe a bit of the brows as well so i really hope you enjoyed this tutorial i hope ramadan is going really well for everyone ramadan mubarak to you all if you don't if you're not muslim hello and um um, if you're just new to this channel, thank you for subscribing and please um, tell everyone about the channel and everyone should come back and watch because I'm really, really, I really, really like, like commenting and talking to you guys on YouTube. Thanks for watching. Bye. So firstly, as a primer, I used um, the Makeup Forever H uh, High Definition Primer all over my face. And what I'm going to do next, um, I'm going to start off with my foundation and I'm using my normal foundation it's the Lancome Tint Idol Ultra in number 13 um, Bidalium Tools, um, I think that's how it's pronounced 957 brush, it's a foundation brush and it's one of the new ones I just got so I'm just going to stipple this all over my face and just buff it in Next, I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows using my um, Makeup for a Brow Corrector and my MAC 266 Angle Brush. I'm just going to brush my eyebrows into place. As you can see, I have really faint, fine brows. They're not really full, they're just really scanty and the hairs are fine. I'm going to use my eyeshadow primer and I'm using the NARS Pro Prime eye primer. And I'm just going to um, apply this with the flat eyeshadow brush from Bobbi Brown. Applying this all over the eyes lid. What a primer does, it just helps to make the eye makeup stay on longer. And I'm going to put some on my lash line as well because I'm going to be applying product there. So taking this really yellow Inglot eyeshadow and my Sonia Kashuk eyeshadow brush, and I'm just going to put this all over my lid. I'll write the name of the the number of the eyeshadow just here. Just placing this on the lid. I'm tapping it on first before I. So going in with the same brush and this orange, shimmery orange by Inglot as well. I'm just going to place this on the outer corner of the lid and blend inwards. Taking my two, MAC 226 brush and um, a MAC eyeshadow in called Red Brick. I'm just going to use this colour to blend and blend it into the crease. So 
So next I'm going to be taking an Inglots blending brush and it's called 6SS and I'm going to be using the Le Femme blush in Sienna. It's like a burnt copper colour and um, Makeup Forever's 162 brush, um, eyeshadow and it's a dark chocolate and I'm just going to be mixing the two with the 6SS brush. Just going to place that, blend it into the crease. Then taking just the chocolate brown from Makeup Forever, and I'm just going to put this in the outer corner of the crease just to deepen it a bit. Now, taking the, my um, Makeup Forever Mineralized Skin Finish Natural, and I'm going to be taking an angled blending brush, it's called a MAC 275, and I was going to place this in my crease, my, my brow bone, so it's basically acting as a brow highlight. I'm blending it in. Taking my Inglot Liquid Eyeliner in black going to do like not a winged eyeliner it's just like a more like a defined liner I'm just going to take this um, and starting from the outer corner just draw a line then you can just pull it in to connect it so it's just basically like a triangle Also taking the liner as close to the lash line as possible so you don't have any gap. The next one I'm going to, I'm going to take my um, Maybelline gel eyeliner in um, black and I really it's really tacky now that's why I'm going to apply it on my waterline and I like when my gel liner goes a bit tacky because then it sticks longer and I'm just going to use the brush that came with it and apply on my waterline. And I'm just going to connect it with the liner at the top. My, the Makeup Forever um, eyeshadow, the dark chocolate. I'm just going to use like a normal shader brush, flat synthetic eyeshadow brush. I'm just going to apply some of this. And the lash line and just blend it in just to give it a bit more depth then for mascara I'm going to be using the Dior Show Blackout it's one of my usuals and I'm just going to apply this so that's it for the eyes so next what I'm going to be doing I'm going to be taking I make up forever full cover concealer and just apply just just a one dot of that and um, taking my um, the same brush I use I'm just going to be blending highlighting underneath my eyes just to brighten it up a bit
I'm going to be mixing Embrim Rose and um, I've forgotten what this is called actually. It's called um, Amazing. No, this is Embrim Rose. This is Blazing something. I'll put the whole look for it. The name. I'm mixing both of them. I'm just going to apply this on the apples of my cheek. My Max Blunt Contour Blush and um, Iman's Sheer Finish Bronzer, and I'm going to be mixing both of them just to have like a bronzy effect and contour. It. So I'm just going to put this on using the same brush. I'm going to be applying this on my temples as well. Line. I'm going to be highlighting with Max uh, Mineralized um, Finish Skin Finish in Gold Deposit using the same brush. Let's put this at the top of my cheekbones. So I'm going to line my lips first with Max Lip Pencil in Chestnut. I'm going to be using this red by MAC, it's called Resolutely Red. I'm going to apply this a bit, and then on top of it, then to line my lips even more by MAC, and it's a really, really deep brown. I'm going to be placing this in the outer corners. set my whole face I'm going to use um, my mineralized skin finish in dark And that's it for the look. I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial. It's a really quick, easy um, tutorial. It's nothing too over the top. Um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Bye. Or if you don't like a red lipstick, you can go in with like a neutral lip gloss. I'm using the number S2 um, Makeup Forever Lap Shine, the Star Collection. This is like one of my favorite lip glosses. So this is another option for you. So yeah, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. Bye.